Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I have another vlog. I haven't had a chance to do any sort of a craft even though I wanted to. I have a lot of things that are on my, on my to-do list. And because, you know, I have to find the good days. Let me get into the shade here. Nope, that didn't help there a little bit. Because I have to find the good days when I feel good to do these things. It takes me longer to get things done. Um, but right now I have another project that got in the way of everything else. And that's to clean up a rental house. Um, I had my renters move out uh, for some <laughs> reasons that they had and we were very understanding. And so it kind of happens kind of suddenly and uh, no hard feelings, but I need to check the house. Now, um, my, my husband's already been in there. He's already told me a couple of things, but I want to document it. Now, I wanted to document the outside because there was some trash left and some attire that was supposed to get removed, wasn't removed. So this morning, somebody came by really early, removed that, and they actually mowed the lawn. And I wanted to take a picture of that before. So I didn't get to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and go in the house. It's just right next door to my house right now. And uh, so I just have to walk over check it out. So that's what I'm going to go do. <laughs> if I can figure out how to open my, my gate. All right, here we are. <sighs> I have the keys and I have, I have no idea if it's the front keys or the back keys. I got only one, one set of keys back. I didn't get the other. So we're going to have to change the locks. I already bought all the the new knobs and everything for the doors, so. Okay. So, whatever grass there was, <laughs> the guy came by and cleaned it up. Um, he didn't, yeah, well that's the other property next door that's a mess. Let's go around to the back real quick so I can see the backyard there. stepped into the sewer hole okay so yeah the guy removed the trash and he did take that tire gotta trim this branch right here see that one coming down like that I don't know if you can see it well in the in the video but there's a dead branch pretty much well it's got some leaves on the end here but this has to be trimmed it's hanging too low actually yeah this whole bit because it's part of that also that whole branch needs to be cut okay so the back I mean you know what can you say look at the back door uh, it doesn't look too pretty but at least you know it's fairly clean uh, a couple of sandbags there and a, some old chair probably get rid of that the sandbags are okay they're, they're fine, but the chair, I'll have to get rid of it. Okay, let's go to the front. Okay, let's see which key it is. That's, oh, it was that one, but the door is really dirty. Uh, gotta do some sweeping here. Okay. The electrical is probably already out. Yeah, nothing turns on. I'm checking these switches here. Nothing turns on. So that's out. The walls are fairly okay. There's some little things here and there. I don't know. I'll be able to retouch that. I have to figure out the paint. The kitchen is dark. I can't really tell. Let me open up this back door. And then here's the washroom but put some light in all right so that whole floor is dirty in the washroom um doesn't look like anything was any you know holes in the wall or anything it's dirty but you know basically i mean that happens oh my gosh my my camera keeps going blurry okay but uh, they were here for like about six years, so, you know, 
The stove was there, fridge was there. I had a stove and a fridge. When I rented it, I said it wasn't, I was not going to replace that. I was renting the house without all that. I was actually renting it for a very low price. So the stove and the fridge that were here, once they broke down, they got their own. So they took that with them, of course, understandable. Uh, I'm looking in the cabinets. Um, there's not like trash in there or anything, but I might have to go get some liner and just replace that. Uh, my sister-in-law, Susan, said she'd come tomorrow morning and she would help me clean up. I need to look at the filter, replace that. Oh my gosh, I see something on the floor right here. Oh. Yeah, it looks like stuff got just completely scraped there. I need to see if they have this flooring still. I don't remember if I got it at Lowe's or um, Home Depot so that I can get a box to, to replace some of the squares and I can see how some of the little pieces just slid. Okay, it's gonna be something that's gonna take a couple of days, maybe three days of cleaning from what I see, but it's not like it's because it's so bad. I mean, yeah, some things are bad. Oh, sorry, this, it keeps getting blurry. Um, well, I don't even know what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. Oh, but look down here to the floor. Lots of damage on the floor. Lots and lots of it. I mean, my son lived here before I had the renters and the floor was pretty nice now. I mean, it's not the best flooring, but it's a headache. So who knows? Ceiling fan still okay. I need to get another bulb for that. I'm just gonna take pictures of, this was already here from way before them. Um, but I'm going to take pictures of it anyway. Uh, this was something that got patched up here. I already know that existed. This is dirty. Might need to do some paint touch up. I don't know. But oh, I haven't even looked in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Well, this is a different type of floor for the bathroom. I might have to bring in like a little lantern or something to turn on to see in here, like what I'm cleaning to make sure it's, you know, clean. But anyway, we'll be back tomorrow morning to clean up and see how far we can get on that. But yeah, pray about everything, worry about nothing. That looks like something that I'm gonna be doing a lot of which I have been, but gotta do some more. See you in the morning. So good morning, everybody. It is the next day and my sister-in-law is here and we've walked through the house one more time so we can decide what we need to bring over from my house and um, clean it up. So anyway, um, I walked you through it and I told you all the stuff that needed to be done. Uh, oops, the cleaning and everything. And I had mentioned that I was gonna go see if I can find paint to match and patch up some of the little you know scratches and things like that on the walls but my husband and I talked about it last night and we decided that we're all gonna just gonna have to get somebody to come in and just paint the whole house every room in here all one color and I think I'm gonna choose like the the color that I did my house and we're also thinking we're gonna have to have somebody come and do the floor as well but first get it painted and then and then a floor because this floor would have to come out I've, I've looked at it and i'm looking at there's just too many little things here and there too many little tiles of flooring that i would remove and then just put a new one in there it's just like it seems like hello i might as well do the whole room but the thing is also like if i don't find the floor the same floor or it's going to be new and you're going to be able to tell from the older floor you know the difference maybe in the color and everything and the wear so we're gonna see about that. But definitely gonna get in somebody to come in here and paint. 
And, um, but my sister-in-law and I are just gonna do a light cleaning, sweep it here, wipe some little stains here and there, um, and then wait a couple of days for the guy that's gonna come and give us an estimate on the paint work, on the paint job. And he did our house, living room and kitchen over there before, so we already know he can do a really good job. Just I'm sure that his prices have gone up because he was very humble before and charged just very little. As a matter of fact, my husband even paid him extra because he felt like, you know, it was too, too, too low of a price that he charged and he did a really great job. So he wanted to reward him for that. So we feel like maybe by now this gentleman has realized that he's worth more, so he should charge more. And not to mention inflation and everything that's going on right now. So. I'm just, I had some money that I had been putting aside and I'm glad that I did that because um, I always had the thought that this house was gonna need uh, a fixing up at some point. Um, so that's where we're at. So my sister-in-law and I are going to clean in here. Stains like what's down there and such. Oops, and then this like little, see this little, oops, sorry about my hand. Let's see. Like right in there, things like that, we're gonna clean up. So we're gonna go get um, buckets with water. There's no water in here. Everything's already been turned off, electricity, everything. Get some cords. <laughs> I told her we have all these cords from Christmas. There are outdoor cords. We're gonna put them together, put a, have a box fan, put it in here. Uh, cool us off while we do this. So if I don't show you us cleaning it, I'll show you the after maybe. So this is kind of my vlog and I'll end it in a little bit. And there it is. These walls were dirty. Lots of spills on them. Uh, the ones here in the kitchen, I actually cleaned this. This looked another color before and now it's almost white, but it might get replaced anyway because of the bottom part. And then I cleaned in there as much as I could. Uh, the rest of it is like, I don't know, like little rusty stains. That's a little cover that'll go back on there, but I'll leave it off because it's, it's gonna get painted. No sense of putting it back on now. Uh, wiped the counters a little bit, wiped a little bit of the cabinets, but I'm going to need to get some degreaser to actually clean them well, and I'll do that right before I put it up for rent, because I'll have to come in here and make it smell nice and clean, so no sense in come, you know, cleaning it and adding fresh odors right now. My sister-in-law helped me clean up this room. I mean, I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but this room was the worst room of all and the walls look clean now. There's some spots where she couldn't reach up high, but we'll get my husband to help me with that. And she did the floor here. We have some little spots that have to be done, but I think we're gonna end up having to have the floor taken off anyway. So we'll see what happens, but I'll update you on that. And of course, uh, we cleaned in here and the closet. Uh, it's actually inside this bed, in the bedroom, in, in this bedroom. And this is a place where no one should store anything, and I found stuff in there. And this is clean compared to how it was. It was worse, a lot worse. And I need to get a professional to come in here and actually clean that. But that's the bedroom in the back, kitchen. This was the uh, washer dryer room. We didn't worry about it too much. We just swept it out because we don't know if it's going to get painted or not. Uh, the bathroom, sister-in-law cleaned that out. She, she cleaned in there, she swept and everything. And then I came over here and besides the kitchen, I did some, a little bit of wiping here. There was a sticker on the wall. I had to remove it because, you know, uh, I was, it peeled out some of the paint. Look at that. Please don't put stickers if you're renting a house because you'll ruin the paint job. But yeah, everything's clean. We gotta just get our buckets and everything. Um, I cleaned the, uh, up here, I, it's still, I can't reach that light, so my husband will have to help me with that. Uh, probably gonna have to get a power washer to help us clean a lot. My sister-in-law wiped down the front door. It's gonna have to get painted. And then the bedroom, you know, it's, it might look the same in the camera, but believe me, it is cleaner. And not only that, but the house didn't stink. There was no, uh, horrid smells in the house, so I'm gonna say uh, thank you to our previous renters for reasons they had to move out. There's not, nothing bad towards us, or nothing we don't think anything bad of them. Uh, they just had their reasons, and we understood. 
but you know, wear and tear, and here we are having to fix all this, and that's okay, it was due. So, we'll see how it all turns out. If you like an update, please leave a kind comment down below, and let me know if you're gonna wanna see an update in the future. What did we do? Did we paint it or not? What happened? What happened to the rental house? Uh, what improvements did we do? So I'll try to do a video before I actually rent it, if I get it painted. Well, it's gonna get painted. All right, so that's all for today. Look at my face, super red from working out. I'm all sweaty, and but I feel pretty good. You know, the, the heat from sweating is actually pretty good for you. Got a lot of stuff out of your skin. <laughs> Uh, I'm just hoping that I'm not going to be in pain. Of course, like I said, we're going to have to come back in here. My husband and I will come in here and help me with the ceiling fans and the light thing outside. My sister-in-law says she has a power washer, so we might bring it in the weekend. So today is Tuesday. So a few days are going to go by. Hopefully the guy uh, that would do the painting, because um, he said he's doing another job, so he said five days. So he'll come in here, he'll give us an estimate, and then we'll see when he can actually do it. So who knows, we might have this house for a month before it's actually ready to get rented. I gotta find a stove and a refrigerator to put in there, because it never included that, but now I feel like I'm gonna have to include it. We'll see. But if you want an update on the whole thing, let me know. And uh, I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And if you like the content of my videos, please subscribe, there's a little red button down there. And then you'll see a notification bell, a little bell. Click on that, choose all, so that you can notify it of all my videos as soon as I upload them. I wanna thank you very much for watching. Have a super, super week, and as always, enjoy.